Greetings, Nice Daniels here. I've created a uh, database in Moodle. This is 1.95, I believe. If you haven't upgraded your Moodle, do so. There are some serious, uh, serious security matters that have been fixed in 1.95. Uh, that said, okay. So what I've done is I've created a database that looks very similar to this one. Um, first and last name I don't need because Moodle takes care of that for me. So I have this question, that one, three, four, and five. I'm going to leave off this one here just for the time being. And uh, let's take a look at the templates, see what this looks like. Not pretty, but it seems to be all right. Edit, delete, and approve. Um, they got all kinds of templates in here. I haven't actually taken a look at those. Save this for the time being. <clears throat> and now let's add an entry, see what it looks like, how it handles. All right. Um, all right. This is good. I like this. I have to find ways to. Uh, I wish there was more of a WYSIWYG on these on these text areas because pretty. They're, they're not very pleasant. In fact, let's go take a look. I mean, how do I? Oh, you know what? In the template. Is where I can modify the text add template no okay there's okay so I can modify this and okay Please choose at least one standard. Okay, and so this is actually this is where you would add your notes or instructions about the questions. Okay, of your question. All right. Now, can I add text in between these? No. So, uh, what do you think is the answer? Think, think is the answer. All right, now that's what it is. Unfortunately, I can't really control the size of those fields, so I have to go in and play with those individually uh, which is under fields and then I have to go in each one of them and modify so the text area in the text area uh, columns will give it uh, we'll give it eight rows and answer we'll give that one eight rows as well save changes now let's go take a look at it all right so my chain okay my chains are there I wish there was an option to turn this HTML off I don't know if I want that there or not um, but this is very encouraging I can put all the standards in fairly quickly and so I have um, I've created a database. So let's let's take a look at um, let's add one test. Forgive, I just want to get one in. See what it looks like. Easy, so easy. And save. 
and view. Well, okay, so there's the text. There it is, there it is. Now let's view the list. There's only going to be one. And it should have my name. Oh, it doesn't have my name there. Uh, so, do I have to include the student's name? Have to figure that one out. Thanks for watching and um, happy computing.